Can you name an athlete? Yes. Hi, Gina Moreno with Fabulous TV. You got Perfect. Nice. So your relationship with your little brother Oliver in this film, he's the person who looks up to you, yeah. asks you for advice. Is there any relationship that you use from your own personal life to help better develop your character? Um, I mean, I... The closest thing, I, I have a little sister myself, and it's just me and her, and we're extremely close. So that's that's kind of one of the things that attracted me to, to this was was uh, Oliver and Ray's relationship, because I saw so much of my own relationship with my little sister. Um, looking up, I mean, I, I, I look up to my parents, so that's kind of, you know, how I see Oliver looking up to Ray, but... Um, I, it was, I love kids, so uh, being able to be on set with Nico every day was just so much fun for me. And do, do you want kids soon? I felt like with that comment, it was like, I love kids. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready quite yet, but one day, absolutely. Okay, Can't one, wait. Okay. Yeah. And Constance, I read on your Facebook page that you said this was one of the saddest characters that you've ever had to play. How do you bring hope to a character that's just so broken? Uh, you know, it's, uh, you kind of figure it out as you go, but I did feel with the script, um, it was written so well that you get to see the progression happen throughout the movie. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of happening as we were filming it, which was a really cool experience because she was so broken and she had done a lot of pretty horrible things to her kids and you know being a mom myself it's like also it is very hard when you fall into playing these characters where you're like oh how could somebody do this and but what you, what you have to do is you kind of you have to separate it and it's a story to tell and it's the story between you know my character and Ray was really two adults trying to grow and like come back together and you really can't you can't plan how that's going to happen or how you're going to be able to portray that. And I really, I mean, working with Taylor was so great because sometimes he would just look at me and I was like, oh, oh God, I've hurt you so much. Like, it was it was really like, especially our first scene, which I thought was, it was so hard to be able to say like, you know, I know you've done all of this work, but mm -hmm. now I'm here, I'm the mother, I'm going to take him back and mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. And those scenes then fueled like the next scenes of like, how do you get hope from that? How do you come back? And I have to say it was really such an incredible um, relationship with everybody, directing, acting, writing, that I was able to find it as we went along. Cause it was hard. I mean, it was really hard. Like even wanting to play the character, I was like, I have to believe that I'm gonna show people there is hope and that she deserves a second chance because we all deserve second chances, especially if we're willing to do the work. And my character was willing to do the work and that's what I had to constantly fight for and believe in. And I was like, this is my goal, is to remind people she's ready. She's ready to do the work and um, so, but it was hard and it was really sad. It's a really sad, I've, I have not <laughs> played this broken and, and like this, she's not weak, but she has been weakened. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And I could see that relationship definitely between you guys in the film. And you know, I could tell this film touched on a lot of things. Sadly, we can't go into all of them, but one of them I thought was somebody who's young, who's not ready to go into adulthood, but is forced into it. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what you want audiences to get a little bit out of that when they watch the movie? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's I think this movie is great for like the younger generation, the teens and young adults because everybody or not everybody, but a lot of people can relate to that, you know, wanting to rebel against your parents and like um, you know, seeing eye to eye with them and you know, just wanting a fresh new start and that that's that's really what Ray is going through and you're right that he was absolutely forced into growing up super quickly very young by you know raising a kid alone um, but uh, yeah I mean I think I think a lot of people can relate to it um, what am I trying to say here no because I it, it being a good movie for youth to watch is that we have all been hurt in some way or another I think as as kids uh, whether it was your parents doing or it was siblings or friends or a stranger um, 
And I think this movie is about growth yeah. and l learning to live and grow through the mistakes uh, that you might have had in your life and in your upbringing and know that that's not the be all and end all, but that we all can rise above it and we can all kind of take them and grow from them yeah. and become better, stronger people, I think. Because by the end of the movie, you know, maybe Lola and Ray aren't able to see exactly eye to eye, but they're able to get to a common ground and forgive each other and be able to respect each other. And I think when Thank this movie you. comes out... out oh. oh. Thank you. She was like,